Hey, hello there. Uh, yeah, I'm restarting this live stream because uh, the previous one just went off. I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, we're continuing with the. Uh, let's just make this. Uh, my, the plan was to make a live stream, creating these all these assets, but I think that would be would have been too long. Uh, we, we had created uh, the letters, and uh, we had started on this, and then uh, for some reason OBS, OBS crashed, and I couldn't continue. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, fruits in a plastic bag. So I will have my avocado here instead of the pear. So let me just put that aside and we make this plastic bag and let's add a UV sphere. Turn on random colors. I pull these uh, top vertex. Turn on proportional editing using uh, the shortcut O and push that up just around there. And then subdivide this a few times then shade smooth. You can see we, we are starting to see some facets. Uh, we don't want that. So right click and then smooth in uh, the vertices. You can uh, uh, smooth in vertices. Then so that we don't see that f those vertices a lot. But uh, it won't matter that much uh, because we're going to be using the cloth simulator uh, to kind of add those wrinkles. And uh, these facets will not be that visible anymore. So now we can punch in these holes here. So for that, I'm just going to add another UV circle. Mm, let me just use this circle, rotate it 90 degrees. And we're just going to use booleans uh, to cut out holes in different areas. So just going to add, bring this here. And uh, Now, through this, now we can uh, go to the modifiers and add a boolean modifier. Select this as the boolean. Let's hide this for a second. You can see we are punching through that wall, uh, through that, uh, and hide this. Need this to extend all the way. Okay, something is okay yeah everything is good so let's just continue so now we can also duplicate this in edit mode shift d to rotate but uh, this time should this should extend outside out like that now we can apply uh, the boolean delete this and uh, we can also we need to delete these inside pieces as well. So it's going to go to front view, start removing uh, those faces. Go to this side, remove those faces. And these here, and uh, these ones here. Let's make sure you are only selecting those ones. Okay, something like that and uh, yeah we have our plastic bag now to add the fruits in we are going to use a rigid body system so i'm just going to bring these here and i may start duplicating them a few times so i'm just going to scale this down and just also give this a plastic bag looking material so just increase the transmission and then maybe reduce the alpha and that turn on alpha blend to have something like that i'll turn off back face curling make this a bit rough maybe give it that tint as well yeah. okay then we need to bring in these these fruits so i'm just going to duplicate them a few times duplicate this single one i have Shift D, rotate it, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. You can, you can duplicate about four of them and then just give them a rigid body system. Okay, for some reason my, okay, was hanging, but uh, okay, so select everything, go to object menu and then rigid body, add active, 
Now for the plastic bag, I want that to be a rigid body of type passive. Okay, now if we play back, uh, we need to make sure that this is set to, uh, the, co the collision shape for this is set to uh, mesh instead of convex hull. So if we play back, you can see they, they are now falling into Uh, into the plastic bag we need a few, we still need a few of them so we're going to duplicate uh, these ones uh, but before we do that select everything and then go to object menu rigid body apply transformation and uh, now we can go back to frame zero and uh, nothing will change just to select the of uh, the uh, the plastic bag and then move this up can I scale this down a bit so that they're not intersecting uh, with the plastic bag and then uh, since they already have the rigid body system, I can play just play back and then they should just fall down like that. Okay, again, we can apply the transformation, apply transform. Now we need to have this shape here, and uh, so for that, let's just go back to frame one. And then scale this animate uh, this uh, plastic bag scaling scaling down so i'm just going to just get it here and then up to around frame 50 scale it on the x and y plane and uh, something like that and now if we go back and uh, in rigid body settings turn on animated hit play we should if you, if you start seeing uh, the plastic bag kind of squeezing these together uh, so that we get that shape here so that everything is packed inside here and I think that's enough so then we can apply our uh, transformation again and then delete these keyframes Now, let me just make sure that I'm saving this. I'll just call this plastic bag. Now let's work on the wrinkles in the plastic bag. So for that, I will need this to be a cloth uh, simulation. Sorry, yeah, a cloth simulation. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, make sure that I don't have any more animation in this. And uh, all these rigid body objects we have, I'm just going to uh, join them into a single object so control j so that is a single object and we're going to use this as a collision object for this uh, plastic bag and uh, for the plastic bag uh, let's give it let's remove the rigid body object and uh, make sure you also re remove the rigid body object for this uh, for the fruits hello open movie renders how are you doing so let's get let's give this a cloth simulation now if you play back you should just fall down uh, but that's not what we want so let's go under field weight and uh, remove the gravity so that it's not falling down now instead of falling down we want this to be grabbed up so or pulled up so i'm just going to select uh, these top vertices please do a crow machine animation ah i think i have something similar to that if you can if you check wolverine effect I, if you search for Wolverine effect, you should see uh, some of my, my videos about that. So, yeah, so I didn't explain uh, that part, but uh, let me just show you what I'm doing here. So, we have the cloth simulation now. Now, what we want to do is animate this being moved up so that we can get uh, those uh, wrinkles. Now, to do that, we need to create a vertex group and uh, add a hook to it. So if you select these vertices, you can add a hook to them using Ctrl H. And then now if I grab this, I can move those vertices. But I will also want them to be the, uh, you will also want them to be set as a vertex group. So let's go into it mode, then assign a new vertex group. Now we can use that in the uh, is it shape. So as a pinning group, so if I play back, 
uh, because there is no graffiti, sorry, there is no gravity, there is nothing happening. But if I move this, I made this hook moving up, the entire polythene bag will also move up. So if we play back, just go back to, f oh, make sure that uh, the hook is below the cloth, is above the cloth simulation uh, for this to work. Open movie, oh, use Blender. <laughs> blender in Blender. Huh, not sure what you mean there. Maybe a blender blending. <laughs> yeah, the blender is in inception, yeah? That would be nice. But, uh, my computer can handle such a simulation, so. Uh, anyway, let's continue. So make sure you have the hook above the cloth modifier. Now, if you play back, you should start you should start seeing uh, this moving up. You can see uh, the wrinkles, but uh, if you look closely, you can see uh, the the plastic bag is not colliding with uh, with our fruits. So what I'm going to do is uh, go into select the fruits. Remember, I joined them into a single mesh so that I don't have to apply uh, the cloth property to each two individual. Uh, Meshes. So just add it to one and uh, we are good to go. I usually re-render re open movies on my channel, but I don't upload much. Ah, I should check out your channel. Let me just end this after this live stream. I'll check out your channel and see. Uh, so now that we have the collision, collision property set for this, uh, let's re-simulate and see. Uh, okay, let's just make sure that, okay. We, everything is working correctly. I can see now it's like someone is grabbing the bag and uh, pulling it up and uh, you can see the deformations happening which is exactly what we want and I think that's good enough now you can see how the wrinkles are coming out uh, we have some intersecting here uh, but uh, you just to get rid of that you just have to turn on um, under collision you, ha you can just turn on uh, self collision and uh, it will fix that so that the cloth is not colliding with itself. So let me also just bring back the something like that. You can see what we have. I think cycles would render re would render this much better, but uh, yeah, it would also slow down my RV port. Uh, that's why I'm not using it. At, uh, you can try it in your a new render uh, but uh, anyway that's that's one version of it so after you're done with that you can apply uh, the hook apply the cloth and uh, disable the hook now we should uh, something like this but uh, the problem here is that uh, this would be a plastic bag hanging in the air but uh, usually what you have is this would you would put this somewhere on a, on a surface so Maybe on a table so it wouldn't be like they wouldn't be like this now for that how about modeling a procedure based mcdonald's mac chicken sandwich with fries and mcflurry ah sorry uh, i'll see about that and see if i can uh, do that um open movie renders well that bag looks convincing oh, thank you yeah actually you can even make it more convincing by adding uh, let's see that Let's make sure I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be showing here. Uh, you can add, uh, uh, let's see, texture, paper texture, paper, paper texture to, to it. Folded paper. Wrinkled paper. Let me see. Wrinkled. I think it's wrink. Wrinkled paper text. Sorry, texture not text. If you added that, I think it would make it even look more realistic. Let me just do that and see how it comes out. So if I add that texture, image texture, I think. If Texture tool the tool. Uh, if you add that as a bump map, so vector bump connect the color to the height. Am 
addicted to make chicken sandwiches. <laughs> uh, so I connect this to Winomo. Let's just see how this is looking. So you just have to reduce on the strength a bit. Uh, and you get some extra detail. Let's just remove this alpha and see how this looks. Just make this uh, black. Ah, actually, this looks far better than uh, the transparent one. So if you can do, if you want to do that, you see, if I add, maybe the wrinkles don't look that. Okay, you have to add just a tiny bit, not too much, and uh, it will look far better. I hope I don't miss too much on for your stream. Ah, I've just started these making these live streams as well. I'm also just testing out to see how things go better. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, uh, I want to do another version of this uh, with the, uh, to have it placed on something like a table. So let's get a table here. Right. Actually, we did a tutorial series making a table. So let me just get that. If I can find, let's go under file, open, let me see. I think I have something about, I made a texturing tutorial where I made a table. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, it's supposed to be in 2020. Maybe Chan. I'm not sure. Let's just create a table from scratch here. And just use that. Okay, so let me just make sure that I apply everything. Uh, actually, let me remove this. And, uh, now we can duplicate this here. That bag has no brand. It's an edible. Carry it down. So this is going to be our platform that we place these fruits on. And just remove these keyframes. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, first make sure that this is not a rigid body. Okay, and uh, but these are NVIDIA rigid bodies. So to do that, I'm just going to separate them back into NVIDIA objects. So go to edit mode, hit B. Uh, then uh, select loose parts so that we have something like this and then reset the origin by just right clicking to geometry and uh, I'm just going to re rotate just have some variation here because they are facing the same direction because we duplicated them from the same piece it's a Walmart bag if you want it to be <laughs> yeah you can make it whatever you want to be man Okay, so now we want these fruits uh, to settle down here. So what I'm going to do, actually, I shouldn't have rotated this. Should have let it left it the way it was in its original position. Yes, like that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, have this as a rigid body object type of passive like we had before. And I select uh, these other objects except. Give them a rigid body type active. Okay, it's saying that uh, some have something selected that is not a mesh. I think it's this here. Let me turn that off. If we play back, ah, okay, so I had a keyframe. Another idea do a thigh mark shredder animation that works. Ah, nice idea. We'll check it out and see if I can handle that. Okay, so let's remove all the keyframes. Make sure you don't have any keyframes. You can even... Okay. Just make sure I don't have any keyframes here. Okay. Just go to Object, Rigid Body, Apply Transformation. And uh, yeah, they're all in the same position. And uh, this is supposed to have a collision shape of type 
collision shape type um, mesh hello video vfx sorry video if hd video yeah vid effects i see your name every day but uh yeah i've never got around to, to pronounce it so another uh, i didn't do it yeah okay so if you play back yeah it should nothing should happen uh, but uh, what we want to do is uh, animate this going through the table so like this and draw let's also save the animate animated property here animate this going through the table draw somewhere like that so if we play back I'm not sure why Lena is too slow right now. Maybe because I'm recording. Let me first remove some of these other programs. Okay, so yeah, you want to animate this through the table, but uh, give this an, uh, a rigid body uh, type of passive as well. So the the plastic bag will be able to go through uh, the, uh, the, uh, the table or platform, but uh, these our fruits will not be able to do that so i just have to wait for it and she's saying this is the problem with live streaming you can't really skip ahead uh can this bug work if a character holds it yeah it should it should be able to work it should be able to work and the problem is our rigid body the rigid body system doesn't really work well with the cloth simulation system i think the cloth object will not be able to affect the rigid body objects that's what I found so if you want to animate actually this is, this is not working out as I expected it to work because then these are just going up instead of spreading around so I think along the X and Y plane like that so that it enlarges so let's simulate that now let me just use let me just catch this uh, simulate around catch it just 70 frames and hopefully that's fast enough uh, let's wait for that to bake Uh, like we did um, open movie renders uh, like like we did for by adding uh, the hook here if you have the hook parented to the character uh, the plastic bag should follow uh, the character as well but uh, the issue would be animating these uh, rigid bodies rigid body objects they may not be able to swing with the uh, with the plastic bag Give it a second and see. So, okay, so let's play back. Yeah, this is exactly what we wanted. And uh, now, after we do that, we can just. Uh, I'm not sure if I remove. Let's just bake, select these, bake these two keyframes make the rigid body simulation to keyframes so select that go to object rigid body back to keyframes we only want 70 since that's what we baked so that we don't have to go back and uh, rebake this and yeah it didn't work as i expected now let's see how it, how it looks with if it won't cause any problems while baking so now that we have that all we are left with and I can just to be safe because uh, I think if I remove the rigid body property for this plastic bag I may lose this cached uh, data so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this shift D so that we have two now and uh, for the second one I'm just going to remove uh, the rigid body uh, system so this here just 
move here turn on re screen recording and I can hide this now this should go back to its positions and uh, for this now we can remove other keyframes and we need all these fruits to be collision objects and uh, ah, they already have that collision property so now we can just have this as a collision sorry as a collision object sorry a cloth object and again we can use a, a hook actually don't we don't need a hook this up because this will also fall onto itself so I think we should be good to go uh, just make sure that this platform is also a rigid body sorry a cloth a collision of property now if we play back you can see how everything is settling so let's pause there I think we need to scale this out just a bit so that everything fits uh, because remember we scaled down we scaled up uh, the plastic bag last time so let's do that as well so at around actually we might need uh, let's remove let's first disable the gravity for this because the plastic bag is falling before everything falls so let's go to cloth remove the gravity and resimulate open renders when you have a, a ch when you have a chance i need i need help figuring out why when you be unwrapping a, I get inconsistent square size with, with a UV grid parts of the body and other body parts. Another part. When you have a chance, I need a, I need help figuring out why when UV unwrapping I get an inconsistent 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 square size with a UV grid. I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm, I don't know. UV is, UV unwrapping can be tricky sometimes. sure what's going on here let me f this is our cloth this is our rigid body objects let me delete that All right. let me also push these vertices out just a bit so that I give uh, this some some room so let me see I had tested this out but, uh, again and just scale it out just a bit so that we get some room so so make sure that these are collision objects Maybe let's add some gravity, but not too much and see. I think we have to increase uh, the quality. Uh, of the collision uh, to get rid of this uh, intersecting let me also change uh, the type the template that looks better we don't have too much uh, intersecting 
and you can see that uh, now the bug settles down. Let me just bring back my uh, the other color, uh, the transmission we had. see what we are having and uh, yeah so I think I'm going to end the live stream there are you there's a few things you can you can just so you retain this original shape in case you want it uh, so if you go back to this just increase the value here the cloth value here back to that and then now we can reuse this as the rigid body Just messed up a few things here uh, so let me you can use so that they settle back into this uh, bag here so if I go to we need to remove uh, this catcher data so if I go back to scene data uh, we can remove the bag I uh, can't explain it I one second I show an example I will post uh, yeah you can post it in the comments I'll check it out after the stream so after you after yeah you can we can now rebake uh, these rigid bodies to fall back into this and then we can grab this up so that it gets a tighter shape around around the fruits so if we play back Just want them to settle back into position. After everything is done, you can select everything, go back to object, and then reapply the transformation. that and uh, you can try to move this up again so you can try m moving uh, the and this bag back again so again let's just go to wireframe select this control H add a hook and uh, then go to uh, object data then add a new vertex group assign these as the new vertex group and it and made this going up this time we don't have to carry it too far it's just a bit like that and uh, go back to uh, the cloth simulation this doesn't have to be a rigid body anymore so cloth and then give this a pinning group group tool that we just created now if we play back we have the fruits falling down and uh, this should pull them up uh, the problem is they're going through this object so let's see if I give this a rigid body type passive animated and uh, mesh uh, with deforming turned on and see hello there uh, I'm, I'm sorry I can't really pronounce your name I think it's in Russian but uh, Hope you're doing great if you play back let's see yeah that's the problem with doing that so let's try again and see yeah you yeah the, if you try using the cloth simulator with the rigid body as at the same time uh, you run into that issue you run into a few issues doesn't really work very well so let's just turn this back to convex shape 
let's see and uh, just uh, let's select these fruits again and just remove their rigid body system I think that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. And see, you have it on uh, the table, except this is still hanging up. So for that, what we can do is just, again, apply the cloth. Apply the cloth modifier. Uh, we still have shape keys here, so I'm going to apply visual geometry and uh, you should be able to remove uh, these keyframes sorry the shape keys and also remove uh, modifiers I'm forgetting what I was about to do here but uh, yeah, seriously forgetting what I was about, what I was going to do. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for the live stream. I'll see you in the next uh, video. Thank you for watching. Uh,